Right then, everyone, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded. So, on my last attempt, I'm just gonna call shenanigans on my controller on that one. Well, it's probably not the worst place it could do something like that. Elk, Sabin, Equip, Top, Backguard, all the way along, Gil Hairpin, done. Alright, so, let's start walking down. For some reason, when I started walking down after I took the three steps left here, my controller, I made, I took a step to the right. The control pad here can be a bit wobbly, but usually it doesn't mess up my movements. But there it did for some reason, so, I don't know. One, two, three. There we go, I'm walking downward this time. Actually, that tells me not much. Because I got a battle in like two steps if I happened to make the same mistake as last time. Well, I wouldn't have gotten that battle anyway. The encounters around here seem to come quite a bit, so... I swear that I heard a noise towards the middle of the screen. If someone hadn't already escaped, I would have thought it was a pincer attack, but... Equip skills item. And for the fact that... Savin has the back guard, which kind of makes pincer attacks an unlikely prospect. The only way that it could have happened is if I messed up my equipping, which is probably realistic, but... Alright, so let's hope I made progress this time. Because I'm not getting any more encounters. And I start going left. So just gotta reach the edge here. And now I can start going down. So yeah. Now I should hear an encounter when I start going to the left here. That's why I knew the other two times that things were starting to be a little bit messy. Well, again, that tells me nothing because it's right towards the start of my movement. Who knows how far I went before that battle. I could, I could have been just about anywhere and gone far enough for that battle. Someone died because they didn't escape. Good to know. Celeste is dead. I wouldn't be surprised if she was on Imp. Because I don't think she got hit with very many attacks. I don't think quite enough to kill her. I'm not sure. That's a very good sign. Thankfully, most of the enemies here are actually shy of killing me. Which is kind of funny that I'm at base levels this far into the game and... Most of the time, the enemies can't seem to kill me, so... Oh, wow. Savin died that time. Well, that's not very good. Left. I gotta walk quite a distance here, because I'm walking across a great big stretch of the map. Not as far as I can go with a series of up and lefts, though. Like the one I'm about to commit. I mean, like, it's not really a crime. Sounds like a crime the way I say that I vote to commit it, but up left. I I am somewhat worried about getting an encounter while I'm going up and left and then having the battle mess up which step I'm taking. Because I do so much of that in this segment. And on the overworld there's nothing I can do to figure out what's going on. So I pretty much just have to restart. Yeah, pretty sure went left that step, so it's sometimes hard to tell because my character's moving not exactly it's not exactly when I push the button that my character is going to it hit the battle, so it's always a kind of tricky prospect judging that. And I've gotta do that all over the place in this segment because I'm pretty much entirely going up and left or up and right. No down and left or down and right, so. Those are reserved for VIPs only. As you can tell, I'm not super concerned about using my Phoenix Downs here. Up, left. On this first uh, jog here, I don't think it'll make a difference if I take one step in either direction wrong. But later on, it could definitely have an impact.
One irritating thing is that I'm gonna, while I'm walking up and left here, I'm gonna get stuck. Wow, my characters are coming very close to dying. I'm gonna get stuck in a somewhat large detour because there's really just not much of a way to avoid it. Without doing a significantly more complicated way to get up here. So this is unfortunately the simplest way to go about doing this. I wouldn't be surprised if I've made it. I had like three or four encounters in that time, which was more of what I was expecting than the whopping zero encounters I got when I had messed it up on my first attempt. So yeah, I think I've made it all the way down. Thankfully it doesn't... Thankfully this stops me in just the right place, which is the only th reason why this is even a decent in-the-ballpark solution. And honestly, this area isn't so wide that I need to worry heavily about walking back across at once. Probably made it all the way. One. All the way up. Battle, battle, battle. Yep. That's good. Definitely in the range of my expectations, which is always nice to know. But I have had it before where things have been outside what I've been expecting, and I actually still make it for some reason or another. Hey, both my characters escaped! That saves me some, I guess, minor cash. I feel like I just won the prices right now. Or who wants to be a millionaire or something like that. The price is right! Guess the price of this Genji Helm! Yeah! It's two gil, because that's how they program the item so you don't sell anything that's too rare. Wow, you're good at this game. Alright, so... Bypassing the Fanatix Tower. I don't know if I'll ever bother doing the Fanatix Tower in the LLG. But... Who knows, maybe I will. Okay. I have uh, made it pretty far. I don't think this is a super, super long walk, so I'm not quite worried that I messed something up, but this is when... Okay, got, this, got the battle and walking up, so my left, next step is walking left. The fact that I'm walking through deserts and not really knowing when I'm in the desert or when I'm on land could be a pain in the butt in Brave New World, but here it's likely to not make a massive difference. However, I could get sand, sand, sand stormed, which wouldn't be good. So that's the one thing I have to worry about, I guess. But zombie... well, I guess zombie wouldn't be so great either. Because I can't... I don't know how to revive someone from zombie right now. Because I don't know where my revivifies are, so... Oh. Well, that's a very good sign that I'm making some distance. I'm going up next. There we go. There's that Gale Hairpin coming in handy. It's impossible to tell if the backguard cup's in handy. It's just nice to have that peace of mind, though, that... I'm not gonna get pincer tacked and, like, oh, you lose. Back attack at this point would probably be death as well, so... For that matter. Alright. I presume I've made it. I'd walked super far there before I got another encounter, which was about as far as I was estimating that it was, so... We're at one step. And now I'm going more up and left. In case you weren't tired of up and lefts, you will be after this one. <laughs> Actually, this one's probably the shortest, but... Man, that's scaring me. Because that's three attacks, and if there's four Delta Bugs in an encounter, they can use four attacks. I don't know if anyone was imped, which is the thing. Because if somebody was imped, that could have been three attacks and someone was left with one hit till death. And if nobody was imped, that could have been three attacks and someone would be able to tank another one. It's 
it's hard to tell. But the good news is, I'm almost there. So, probably, it, it's a toss up whether I get an encounter, flip a coin, I'm calling it heads. There, nice. Left to exit, because I'm in Nikea. That's the side they decided to make you enter from. And that segment is over. Now time to do the exact same thing in Brave New World. See you next time.